So I went ahead and uh, I bought a tow truck. It is a 95 or 96. It's a GMT 400, but it's basically a 3500 HD. It's the exact same truck as that, but this is beefed up a ton, reinforced, and has the tow truck body on it. Uh, that one's getting an injector pump put in. But I spent the last like four or five days going through all of the hydraulics, rebuilding everything, testing everything, cleaning everything, doing uh, just hours and hours of countless uh, maintenance, TLC, trial and error, research, whatever, whatever. And you can see I got a fluid everywhere. Everything's wet. But uh, that box is loose right here. I have to secure it to the cylinder. Uh, but I think I finally got it working. It's an awesome boom. It extends out very, very far. So before, uh, before when I first got it, um, under no load, it would barely function. The hydraulics sucked. Um, you had to you know, keep slamming it into position to get it to do anything. And uh, so it ended up being a combination of the relief valves not set properly, holes in the hoses, and the belt in the front. Uh, it was just kind of like, well, when I, when I first got it, there was no belt on it, period. So I actually had to put belts on it. Uh, the belts were way too loose, so I had to tighten the crap out of them. I uh, figured out a good way to do that. And basically just rebuilding this entire system uh, with the good parts that are here. And obviously you can see uh, uh, new hose, new hose, new fittings, all that stuff. Um, it's just covered in fluid, so it looks dirty. Um, and then after I, I got done with all of that, I would have made a video on that, but that was just a ridiculous, uh, that was just a ridiculous process to try to figure all that out. Um, now what we have here, we have the wheel lift almost all the way extended, so we have the maximum amount of torque it's, it's supposed to lift, um, and it shouldn't struggle with this, it should be able to do it. We have a Ford Ranger, which, not a huge truck, smaller than a regular car, uh, you know, lighter than a big truck, but um, let's start it up, and we will uh, we'll, uh, see if it can lift that. Um, also, I... I just finished putting a water pump in it. So the, the shroud is off. There's a new water pump, a new lower hose, this little hose up here. Yeah, new water pump. This little hose up here is new, new lower radiator hose. Uh, two new belts down there. I gotta adjust that pulley because they're kind of riding on the edge. Um, uh, basically, just doing a whole bunch of TLC and maintenance and stuff that's been neglected. Obviously, uh, that light bar, it's a nice bar for a collector. It's just not good for my purposes. not going to be good enough for actually towing stuff. So let's start it up. Um, on this, we actually have a PTO button, and then this is high idle. High idle is nice. Not, a lot, not every truck, or especially not every older truck has it. So you're basically stuck with your engine RPM, and you got to figure out how to do something else. But uh, we'll start the truck. It is diesel. Um, I ordered new glow plugs, so that should help it also. There we go. Alright, PTO on and high idle. And this thing.
then we have you can see both of those move all right we'll shut that off all right so as you can see um this boom goes way up uh, about 45 degrees and it'll extend almost twice the length of this uh, twin line winches on there uh, you can see that the uh, both spools work that's all good greased everything up i just welded these dolly brackets on um, i kind of wanted to put them somewhere out of the way uh, normally you could put them like right on the side up here but this is kind of like more centralized so i can actually use the mirrors and have all of this area to look as well i don't want the dollies in the way of what i'm looking at back here um, but as i was saying um, we have in out obviously for the wheel lift we have you know up and down but we also have what's called a negative tilt which means that this can actually tilt down farther than just flat so i have all sorts of different options for angles to do to do stuff with that if i'm hooking up in a a weird situation um, so I think I fixed it I think I've got the hydraulics fixed that saves me hundreds if not thousands of dollars on uh, doing that that was last four or five days of absolute aggravation but you know if you do this stuff yourself um, you learn a lot about your truck and you learn a lot about uh, I've, I've done a lot of hydraulics I just wasn't fresh on them so I got a good refresher on hydraulics and there's obviously still a, a few more TLC things to do, but that's uh, that's where I'm at right now. I need locks for these boxes. They don't actually lock right now. But uh, what's nice about these boxes, so if I turn on the lights here, there's actually switches here. So when the door opens, we actually get lighted tunnel boxes. Yeah, there's my top shroud in here. Same thing with this one. It'll light up if the uh, the running lights are on. So, yeah, uh, brand new tires on this thing. Obviously, you can see it's pretty muddy out here, but there are brand new tires all around on this thing. So that's uh, a lot of money just in tires. Uh, L arms fold in right into there. It's a nice little spot for them, and. So basically now all I got to do is clean up all these tools, uh, test it out a bit more, and I think I am good to go. So I have, I've registered the LLC, I've got business insurance, I've got a truck, I've fixed the truck. Um, I should go uh, probably drop this thing off somewhere and get a DOT inspection now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm... Um, this close to actually getting going, starting my own towing.